Hi, I'm here with Dr. Ronnie Green, whose land this is here at Molly's Wood. And uh, you came up with this idea, this inspiration for creating the healing giant, didn't you? Uh, yes, it's, it's, it's really cribbed from the healing giant, uh, which is in Kew Gardens, next door to the pagoda in Kew Gardens. And they've got a, a very large one there, and yeah. it's been there for about four or five years. Uh, and it attracts a lot of visitors. The great thing about Kew Gardens is that you can go up the pagoda and see it from a height oh, so you can amazing. see the whole thing. Yeah. Whereas, of course, here you can't do that. <laughs> so what made you decide that you wanted one actually here on your land? Well, we thought it would be a, um, a good attraction for visitors, basically, because our, the, the main objective of this whole field is that it's a community project and what it was originally set up for was to teach primary school children um, natural history and the appreciation of the countryside, basically. Because uh, young children these days, they spend their time looking at the screen and they never get outside. <laughs> So we've got really far with this now. We've laid down the cardboard, we've laid down the straw, we've got the mulch on top of it. So now for the fun bit, we're going to get planting. I love it. Lovely. Beautiful. Do you want to get some water, sweetheart, so we can water these in? Yeah? Do you want to get some water? Are you going to help me? Finley, do you want to come and water it? We've got people here today of all ages. We've got people from as young as one um, all the way up to, what's the oldest person, 94. Ronnie? 94. It's incredible the age range of people working on this project and all coming together to create a healing giant. What a magical thing. We have finished the first phase of this brilliant project. The giant has been cut out, we've mulched, we've planted, and it looks incredible. We had a huge range of people from the age of one up to the age of 94, and everyone had such incredible spirits. Everyone was in such a good mood, and it was such an exciting thing to do together. It really brought the community together, I feel, for um, healing of ourselves and also obviously to honour Aaron who died recently and also Ronnie's brother Michael. So I feel really excited about this project. I think it's a really, really amazing thing that we've done.